this is gonna be my new collection video and in this video I'm gonna show you my entire Nintendo collection all my N64 games, GameCube games, some DS games and some Switch games that I have so let's get straight into it so first you can see I put those Japanese N64 games to display uh, they are actually like like brand new I have a Super Mario 64 Japanese version this is uh, the Smash Brothers Japanese version I have some protection this is why it looks a bit so glossy and then we have the Mario Kart 64 which I only I only have Smash Brothers and Mario Kart as Japanese versions. And I also have the Donkey Kong Japanese versions. So yeah, Let's put those away, and I'm gonna show you around my N64 collection, which is my second favorite console of all times. I'm gonna start with 007 Golden Eye. Complete in box. All the games are complete in box. I also have some loose, cart loose cartridges. I'm gonna show you after this. And we Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Tui, then Bio Freaks, Hybrid Heaven. This one is sealed. I'm not sure if you can see it. Uh, International Superstar Soccer 64 and International Superstar Soccer 98 with Carlos Valderrama. Wait, it's not focusing. Yeah. Uh, Killer Instinct Gold. Then we have Maze the Dark Age the fighting game. Not bad. Super Mario 64, super expensive now, but um, yeah, fun game. Perfect Dark, fun game too. Oh, we have a Turok 1 and Turok 2. I don't have Turok 3. I'm not sure if I got that, but I think that my favorite is Turok 2, definitely. And we have another fighting game, it's War Gods. It's not bad either. WCW uh, Mayhem. This game is sealed. Can you see it? Yeah. With Bill Goldberg on the cover. The youngest new <laughs> athlete in the WWE. Uh, then we have uh, WCW and WO Revenge. Uh, then we have WCW vs. NWO World Tour. Uh, WWF Warzone. WWF Attitude. This is sealed. And uh, WrestleMania 2000. And probably one of my favorite video games of all times. WWF No Mercy. And of course, one of the best games I've ever made. Zelda Ocarina of Time. Unfortunately, I don't have Majora's Mask. It's just too expensive. I'm not sure if I even kind of will be able to afford that game. It costs like, uh, I think now 200 bucks or something completely in box. Even the cartridge is uh, hard to find. All right, so this is my N64 collection. I don't have that much, um, but I do have some loose cartridges. Let me show you. Okay, before showing you my loose cartridges, I also have some more Japanese games. And this is like one of those Tetris 64. There's even the price tag on it. Um, always game. Another game. Don Fox 64. Japanese completed box game. Uh, then I have Mario Golf. Another Japanese game. And Mario Tennis. Japanese completed box. This one is also in a very good condition. I don't have to protect the for that. So, and uh, now to the loose cartridges, I have Star Fox 64. They're just lying around, that's why I don't pick them up. And we have Hexen. I don't know how this game is, but I haven't heard good things. So, 
cruise in the USA, uh, Jet Force, Gemini, uh, Resident Evil 2, Lewis Cartridge, Doom 64, and Osumo. This is a sumo wrestling game. This is a very fun one. The cartridge was very cheap. I hope I can get it complete in box because this game is fun. It's called Usumo. There's a second part too, but um, yeah, very quite expensive. So now to my GameCube collection. I'm gonna start with Crazy Taxi. Freak style. FIFA Street. Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door, PN03, product number, Mega Man Network Transmission, Metal Gear Solid, The Twin Snakes, Need for Speed Underground 2, Resident Evil 0. Resident Evil Resident Evil 4 oh, no. We have Asus X Tricky Star Fox Assault Star Wars Rebel Strikes Rogue Squadron 3 It comes with uh, another free game It comes with a two-player competitive version of uh, Rogue Leader. Yeah, just wanted to mention that. Uh, Mario, Super Mario Strikers. There's gonna be a Switch version, I heard, coming up soon. This game is fun. Then, uh, Soul Calibur 2. Tales of Symphonia. I uh, bought this game recently for one buck and 50 cents, but the case is completely damaged stickers on it and it looks doesn't look that good it's a Tomb Raider legend Turok Evolution Beautiful Joe Wave Race Blue Storm and WWF WrestleMania X8 I have here a brand new controller that I haven't opened up yet for the GameCube and then I have a very very small DS collection um, uh, the reason why I bought a DS was just because of the Ace Attorney games, to be honest. Um, so let's go! Uh, 999, this is also visual novel. Then, uh, why is it so dark? Can you guys see something? Then we have Phoenix Wright. Um, then we have Phoenix, Ace Attorney, Phoenix Wright, Justice for All. Ace Attorney's Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations. Ace Attorney Miles Edwards Investigations. This was very fun too. Now we have Ace Attorney Apollo Justice. Those Ace Attorney games, man, they are dope as hell. Very fun. Uh, then we have Zelda Phantom or Glass. And then I have some Paul version games. Uh, the, la the first one is uh, Last Window. So the Secret of Cape West, I think. And uh, Portal Dusk. This is a very awesome detective noir game. Actually, both. But the first one I liked actually more. And I have a PAL version of Ace Attorney Call of Justice. And then I have some 3DS games. Uh, it's Resident Evil Revelations. I bought the, the bundle pack, which includes. Uh, like an, a second analog stick and something, but I, ju I just don't know why I have it right now. Rayman 3D, Street Fighter 4 3D Edition, and uh, Pro Evo 2011 3D. I was kind of disappointed by the 3DS. I'm not a big fan of that console, but DD DS was fun, but 3DS... Mm. And uh, I have here a rumble pack from my N64, and this is probably gonna see this. It's uh, a rumble pack of the WWF. For the of WWF attitude. Um, yeah, like this. Back inside, 
So I'm not now in the living room and this is where I have my PS5, but I also have my Nintendo Switch over here and um, I have the Fortnite edition and I have some games, I bought them all in France by the way, so this is where the cover art be. So the first game is Astral Chain, that game is dope, I recommend this one. Atelier Riser, I really like the Atelier games. So uh, the first one, I, the first Riser game, I really like it, so I bought it for the Switch too. Yukido, Intaro Savage and Stay, Super Mario Odyssey, and what would be a Switch uh, collection without Zelda Breath of the Wild? I wanted to show you two more things that I have. I have a Super Nintendo Mini, and I modified that to play ROMs. So I sold all my SNS games and everything, but I still have a loose cartridge of International Super Soccer Deluxe because it's uh, a game that I played like thousands of hours when I was a kid, probably. So yeah, that's it. This is my N64 collection, my Nintendo collection. So make sure to subscribe and like uh, for more collection videos and updates. Thank you for watching and see you. Before closing of this video, I wanted to show you something really funny because um, this is the stuff I'm gonna sell uh, probably except the Switch package over there. Um, I prepared pretty much everything already. I put the stuff also on eBay, uh, just worth mentioning. Um, my friend was in Japan and he saw that there were like special offer for Super Famicom games. And he asked me if he should we get me one, and I told him he should buy me a game. No, no, he should buy a game that a German would like. And of course, he bought me one game <laughs> that a German would like, um, and that is this one. Sorry for that. Son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching.